My name is Dedrini Emmanuel, and I'm the President of Community Education, Empowerment and Development, SEED with a C. SEED was founded by myself in 2013 and registered as a charity in July of 2013. Our programs are funded by the Maria Hall Memorial Trust, which they fund the SEED project, which is Community Education Empowerment Project. We also are funded by the National HIV AIDS Commission and we have been founded by Barbados Family Planning and Family Health International 360, FHI 360. We do programs for marginalized groups and marginalized can be very broad. We work with people with learning disabilities, people living with HIV, persons from the LGBT community, persons living in impoverished neighborhoods, and those who find themselves to be marginalized for whatever reasons. Also, this includes sex workers and also drug users. Our programs offer, we do programs from a biopsychosocial model, which entails educational activities, which can range from basic uh, functional literacy and numeracy, um, CXC English Social Studies and Math, as well as Computer Fundamentals. Our skills building initiatives, we did um, in terms do care compensatory, basic cookery and cooking on a budget, as well as dressmaking. And some of our programs even were done small urban space gardening, as well as with server applications. Um, we do also offer psychosocial support and outreach services to these marginalized groups through all of our programs. We also have an adult community clinic which we would have um, facilitated and that includes persons accessing this clinic for general health services as well as we would have conducted men health, men's health fairs throughout Bridgetown um, which looked at blood pressure and blood sugar test, HIV and STI testing. So in a nutshell, we do um, try to encompass many services to offer to marginalized groups. And um, these marginalized groups, as I will reiterate, can be anyone who find themselves to be marginalized. We are located in Reed Street, St. Michael. Um, um, our services can be ranged from in the evenings or in the mornings. Dedrina, why did you start this charity? Well, SEED was started actually when I was going to school. Somehow I felt different and um, subsequently to that I would have dropped out of school. And um, when I dropped out of school, um, getting older I would have re-engage with the educational system to try to um, get CXCs. What had happened, I went to a, a, a place, I will not call the name, was paying $40 an hour to do CXC English and um, a little girl saw me and then I was told through uh, my foster mother at the time that I was not to come through the front door where the children are but come through the back door. This made me felt very bad and um, I decided that not to go back. And when I got older and I did CXC and then doing NGO management, I recognized that there's a need for other people who would have similar experience as I did to start an organization where people can feel free to come and access services, whether it's the be, um, skill acquisition, CXCs, um, even a service that they don't feel that they're um, made, that they're not made to feel different or they're not stigmatized and discriminated, but there's in an environment where they feel um, that they can come to this service and feel free to be themselves. Um, our um, vision is a Barbados where people live their lives to its full potential. And full potential means that you have to have a low holistic approach to assist individuals from marginalized communities to do so. And we see will 
we continue to hope to follow our developmental ethos in making people feel comfortable in whatever they do when accessing our services and beyond. And you have a degree in social work? Yes, I am. Um, in 2019, I graduated with upper second class honors from the University of the West Indies Cape Hill campus with a degree in, in a bachelor's degree in social work. Actually, some of the for the kid can finish your class. Some of the things that are up, thoughts for the day. Uh, actually, student requirement for the basic course, temperature checks, food um, safetyness, and um, about sanitizing and such like. <laughs> so this is our convention room we have here. This is the kitchen here. And you say that y'all are trying to upgrade the kitchen, right? Yeah, um, for tea bag, the kitchen needs to be upgraded. So in terms of the sink has to be removed. Um, a press pedal sink has to go here. Um, these have to come down from here. Okay. okay. For a bank hood for the store. Mm -hmm. um, we have to have an exit plan in case of fire mm -hmm. um, put there where people can see how they can go through the back mm -hmm. when um, in case of a fire. Also, um, well, with Tibet, the, um, the um, number two in terms of their, how we are doing um, cookery. Uh, not, not cookery, but it's um, pre food preparation, sorry, um, level one. But for level two, you have to change the stove. Um, things that are supposed to do is probably having hot water and such like added to the sink.